Tonight, a local animal rescue group may have saved the lives of five dogs, including two recently airlifted from overseas. Local 22's Dana Casulo was at the North Country Animal League when the rescues arrived earlier today. Five dogs have a new lease on life. Thanks to the North Country Animal League in Morrisville, meet Roger, Janice, and Periwinkle. They were rescued from a large-scale neglect case in Texas. And then there's Justine and Nana. They came all the way from South Korea, where they were rescued from the dog meat trade. So moving them away from, you know, the the epicenter of where the dog meat farming is already so controversial is really critical and I think saving their lives. This is the first time NCAL is doing an international rescue. A lot of Americans think it's really popular for um, Asian countries to consume dog meat and it's it's really a fading tradition. It, it's not that common. Right now, Justine and Nana might take some extra time to warm up, but both appear eager to find a permanent home. Nana is very timid. Justine uh, is a little bit timid as well, but will come out of her shell, um, is what they reported, and is loves to snuggle. Humane Society International is working to shut down South Korea's dog meat trade by setting up the hundreds of dog meat farmers in the country with humane and more profitable enterprises, and by rescuing the thousands of dogs stuck in these farms so they can be treated and adopted out in places like Vermont. Closing of the farms has been a really powerful tool, and that's it shows that this is an industry that's already on its way out. Since 2015, Humane Society International has rescued over 2,500 dogs. We're helping to provide that sort of, you know, that um, source of rescue for those dogs because there's not, at the same time, not necessarily the same level of um, adoption culture that we have like here in the U.S. If you are interested in any of the dogs, contact the North Country Animal League. Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.